I had the opportunity to spend some time with my sister and her family. One of my little nieces, Beth, who's four, was really anticipating my arrival. She prepared my bed and my room for me, leaving her favourite strawberry shaped pillow on the bed so that I could use it. And she picked me up from the station and took me by the hand and said, you're coming to my house and was dragging me towards her car. And when I arrived and over the weekend, little Beth continually showered me with gifts. There was paper, wood, mostly covered with paint and sparkles. It was a real sign of her wanting to give all these beautiful things to me. And I think that it wasn't till I was traveling away when I was leaving after that weekend that I'd spent there that I began to reflect on the fact that it was a little bit like God. Just like Beth had showered all these things on me, God too wants to shower gifts on us all the time. Things like a beautiful sunset that we see or a moment with a friend or a really poignant moment in prayer. God constantly wants to shower his gifts on us. And just like little Beth wanted to make sure that I remembered to take these things with me, God wants us to remember and to know that he gives us these gifts all the time as well. One of the things in particular that Beth gave to me was this one. When she gave it to me, she said, you can use this one as a train or a car. I don't really mind. I just remember thinking, wow, what an invitation to be childlike. It was like she expected me to play with it and she wanted to give me a, as to how I could play with it, that I could use it as a train or as a car. What an invitation to remember that God calls me to be childlike as well, to depend on him, to know his love for me, to know he protects me and to know that he wants me to seek his wisdom in the ordinary things in my life. I also really like that Beth said to me, you can use this as a car or a train, I don't mind. And I wonder sometimes if, if God says the same thing when he gives us a gift. If he gives us a gift of love and says, here's the gift of love, I don't really mind how you use it because there's so many people in the world that need to receive my love. That maybe he gives us a gift of preaching and says I don't mind how you use it because there's so many people in the world that need to hear about my love that need to hear the message of my love I think though that as I went away perhaps the most profound thing that came to my mind was that God really wants to use the ordinary things and the ordinary events in our lives to remind us of his presence who would have thought that a piece of wood with colored paint and sparkles on it made by a four-year-old could really reveal to me the power of God's love in unique ways. So I invite you perhaps to reflect on the ordinary events of your life, the ordinary encounters you have, to see the deeper meanings, to see the deeper things that God would want to reveal to you through them.